I just made $7,000 in one day. What is up guys, Cam's Kicks here. Uh, many of you guys know me as camskicks.sc on Instagram. My real name is Cameron Peroni in case none of you guys knew that. I'm gonna be bringing you guys lots of videos on reselling tips, on some of the biggest profits I've made, and just how to be successful in this line of work. Today I'm gonna be bringing you a video on the day of the life of a reseller. So basically I'm just gonna be showing you what I did today and how I came to make $7,000 in one day. Just watch this next part and stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I do on days that I sell a lot of shoes is I first create a list on all the shoes that I sold for the prices that I sold it for and then the price that I paid for it. So the next thing I'm doing is you'll see I'm adding up a bunch of numbers. This is the profit that I made on each shoe. I sold a total of 24 shoes and it was nine orders. This is all in about one day of posting everything on Thursday. And you're gonna see that I add up the list twice. I always like to do this to make sure my numbers are right. So I also do this for my total amount of sales. And you'll see in a second, once I add up everything, it totals out to $7,188.15. So in one day I did about $7,200 in sales and netted about $800 in profit. Um, you'll see that this is only about an 11% profit margin. And I'll talk about this too in later videos. I used to try to make like a lot bigger profit margin, but now I just try to sell the shoes as quick as I can to reinvest that money back into other shoes that I can then flip again. So I made about an average of $34 a pair if you divide it by the 24 pairs. I generally try to make $30 or more a pair. Some of these pairs I made a lot more. Um, some of them I made around $150 on it. And then some of them I only made around $15. So when I'm selling in bulk, a lot of times I'll just take like a 10, 15, $20 profit. Uh, but overall, I like to keep the averages around a $30 per pair. So the next thing that I'm doing is I have to take everything from my notes and move it to my Google Sheets so I can update my spreadsheet. The first step of that is I have to delete everything from my inventory. So all the pairs that I sold, I delete from my inventory so that it's no longer in there. So the next thing that I'm doing once I delete all the pairs that sold from my inventory is I'm taking everything that sold in my notes and adding it to my sales spreadsheet so I have a record of everything that sold. Then I spent a little while creating all the labels and I sent all the tracking to the customers. So this stuff right here, this is just stuff I currently have in inventory. All of this has been posted. So that's some stuff right there. And then if we go over to right here, now this is all the orders that I'm showing you. This is 24 pairs, it's uh, nine orders. These are the ones right here that I'm about to box up. And then just down here, this is just some stuff that I haven't posted yet. So that'll be posted later on this week, probably. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I process my orders and package them all up. But first I'm gonna be showing you which shoes I sold. So I first sold these size 10 for $500. And then the next one, I sold these two pairs for $300. The UNC sold for $140, and the Chicago Black Toe sold for $160. Those are both brand new. And then the next one, I sold this brand new Shattered Backboard 3.0, size 9.5 for $345. And then I sold these pre-owned Space Jam IE 11 Lows, size 8.5 for $100. And then this one was a bulk deal to Memory Lane. They're a shop located in Bessemer, Alabama. They're pretty cool, you should check them out. They bought all these for $4,160 or 320 dollars each. All the sizes are listed right there. And then the next one was another bulk deal to two tray kicks. Um, this one was cool too. He bought the Travis Scott 4s for $500, the Oreos for $450, and then the 72 and 10s for $150. All the sizes are right there, 10 and a half and 11. And then this one was some Levi 4s. They sold for $260, size 10 and a half. And then some brand new Chicago Black Toe Mid size 4Y for 130. And then the last one I sold was some pre-owned Turbo One size 6Y for 310. So first thing I did was separate all the shoes by their order. And then the next thing I did was print out all the labels for the shoes. After that, I placed the label on top of each one of the boxes so I knew which order was which. And then I got all the shipping boxes I needed to package up all the shoes. The next thing I did was place all the shoes inside their box and put the label on there so I knew which went with which. Alright, so I put packing paper in all of them and finally got them all packaged up and now they're all ready to go. I'll actually be shipping these Monday, not for another couple days, today's Saturday.
what's up guys so it's quite a bit of time later i actually just sold a two thousand dollar mystery box so i'm always doing mystery boxes i do 500 1000 1500 2000 really any price and you can pick like the sizes and condition and stuff this one i had a customer dm me he's bought a couple things from me before i think he's actually bought some mystery boxes from me before too so he wanted a heat or dead stock mystery box for two thousand dollars so I ended up throwing this one together. I'm about to get it boxed up right now. This right here, he should be able to make half the box back just on this shoe alone. And this is a VNDS pair of off-white Vapor Maxes, the original pair. I think it should be able to get right around a thousand just for this one alone. So that's half the box back just on this one shoe. And then we got some used Static Yeezys and then the rest of them are dead stock. So we got some Dead stock off white vapor streets, dead stock phantom ones, dead stock mocha threes, some off white Kygers, and then some sandy cheeks, Kyrie two lows. I think he should be able to get right around $2,500 for this, so he should be able to make a decent profit on it. Okay, so I just packaged everything up. It fit inside this box perfectly. Now I'm about to go print the label. All right, and just like that, it's all packaged up and ready to go. So now I got a total of 10 orders to ship so far on Monday. One of the orders is in two boxes, so there's actually going to be 11 boxes, and it's a total of 31 shoes. All right, that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to comment down below, subscribe, and like this video. And you can follow me on Instagram at camskicks.sc. I'm always buying, selling, and trading shoes. And also comment down below some suggestions. I'm always taking ideas. And I want to start doing at least one video every single week. So I plan to have a lot more videos in the upcoming future. Thank you guys and have a great night.